just like to offer a big shout out to Touchdown Digital for sponsoring this week's video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Glenn Salmon and you're watching Sniper Photography and I hope you're all fighting fit and well. Today, I want to talk to you about why I don't use ball heads anymore and why I've switched over to uh, pan and tilt heads and three-way geared heads, which I'll show you in a moment. But first up, um, let's talk about the ball head. Now, I, I've been using ball heads for many, many years, virtually when they first appeared uh, for photographers, and um, they were great. They they work. They still work well. Um, every now and again, I use a ball head. It all depends what I'm shooting, but I find that. Um, well, I found when I switched over from a ball head to a a pan and tilt head um, that my compositions were so much better and uh, more precise. I think with a ball head we all struggle with the fact that we just can't get it right. Now uh, especially when you're shooting panos, ball heads um, have a tendency to like uh, drop forward. Um, it doesn't matter how much you tighten them, um, ball heads just don't seem to, well, they're not my favorite, put it that way. I, I'd rather use, well, I haven't used a ball head for my photography, for my personal photography for quite some time. I'm talking about a couple of years now. So, um, but having said that, 99.9% .9 of photographers use ball heads. Wherever I look, wherever I go and whatever I see, people are using ball heads and there's nothing wrong with them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the ball heads are no good, but for the way I shoot, um, ball, a ball head just doesn't suit my style. Um, I believe in balance and especially with balance uh, to get everything straight and level and as for as much as we got levels on our ball head on the tripod if you if you're out just a fraction well so is your image and then you've got to spend time in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop trying to crop everything so and I find that by using a three-way geared head or a pen and tilt I do less editing because I'm getting it right in camera because um, everything is balanced. This is all about balance with these type of heads here, the, the um, pivot and um, tilt head, um, which I'll explain in a moment. But the problem with a ball head, and I'll show you, and I, I, I shoot a lot with this. It's a 200 meter um, rail. And I find that when you um, put this on your tripod, it's very, very hard to get it to be level. Now, for as much as I'm on a level floor, this tripod is level, the ball head's level, it's still not right. And uh, that's just the, the way ball heads are designed. So when I um, place my camera on this rail, see that automatically? It just falls. I mean, and I've got that tight. So it's a case of balance. Now, even though I'm level here, as I pan around, it's starting to drop away. You see, so for me, ball heads don't work. And the way I shoot, um, I love these rails. I shoot with the rails all the time, whether I'm shooting in uh, portrait mode or landscape mode such as this, um, I just find it so much better to use a rail, but not on a ball head. So the thing is, um, if ball heads suit you, that's, that's fine. Um, but for me, and the way I shoot ball heads, just don't cut it um, for my photography. They just don't cut it. And I'm starting to have the same feelings towards the ball head as I do center columns and why people raise center columns to get them up here, um, I'll never know. And I don't know why, well, I know why people do it because they, they might be taller than their tripod and they need that height. Well, buy a tripod that suits your height. It's a very simple answer. But um, ball heads for me just don't work. And, but I'm, as I said, I'm, not say, I'm saying that they're, they're good then. I'm not saying they're no good, but for me and the way I shoot, ball heads just don't cut it. So I'm not using ball heads anymore. So I'll put that one aside and I'll talk to you about this. I'll move it over there so you can see it. Okay, this is the Leo Photo VH30R and it is just 
a superb piece of kit to use. And um, as I said, I don't use a center column, but I use a bowl mount. As you can see, it's moving around like so. Now in the middle of this, there is a, a, a bubble float. So all I have to do really is to level the tripod, which the tripod is level and it will be once I level the bubble in the middle. So all I do is get that right like that in the center and we tie it off. Right, so that there is perfectly level. Now you can't, you can't do that with a ball head, you just can't do it. And this is where these type of heads just well, quite frankly, run away from ball heads. Um, this thing is just absolutely brilliant to use. And I use this on, um, this is the small baby. This is the RT80C, the, the small brother to, or the little brother to the big unit over here, the 90C, which I'll show you in a moment. But this uh, system works so well for me, especially when shooting panos or just normal landscape photog photography. So it is a, um, a brilliant um constructed piece of gear. It sells for around about $390 this particular head and all you do you just screw it off like so. That's it. Okay. Now I can pan the base like so or which I prefer I can pan the top. So there's two different panning actions and a tilt forward and a tilt back. So it really is superb when it comes to um, getting your composition right because it just it just works. It, it just works so well and there's indicator lines on here or markings for when I'm doing panos. Um, I mark it every 15 degrees so I know that I've got the overlap. But this isn't just for pan panorama photography. This is for all types of photography, normal photography. Um, but in landscapes, it just works so well. So what I do um, is I have the um, the nodal rail fits on like so, like that. Now this has got a bubble, and now automatically this rail's level. I don't have to check it, even though there's a bubble float there on top. The reason why I don't have to check that is because I've leveled the tripod through the pan and tilt head. So I'll show you now what happens when I um, put my camera on this rail. These rails, are, these rails are fantastic and you can buy these rails on Amazon for about 25 bucks. I mean, and they're all cast aluminium. They're, they're very, very good. And this is a 200 millimeter one with an Arca Swiss fitting at the end. So I'll put the um, camera on here and I'll show you what I mean where it's so much better than the ball head. Okay, so, so basically what I've got there is when, you, when you're using this, especially in a portrait um, orientation instead of landscape, the idea is this is all about balance. And I keep on referring to a ball head. You just can't get your balance right on a ball head. I, I don't think you can. I, I've been doing this for many, many years and I've proven that you just can't get balance using a ball head. But with uh, the combination of a rail, um, a nodal rail, and the tilt and pan head, everything is level and it's precise. This is precision. Um, this is how you really nail your composition. And it just works, especially when you've got horizon lines happening in, in your image. So basically, all I have to do now is turn it this way and I can pan. Now, everything is straight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Everything is straight here. There's none of this down, there's no up. Um, and it is just an absolute fantastic thing to use. Now, as I said, this is all about balance. So what I can do, I can move that rail back or forward. I like to have it where the center of the lens is coming over through the axis of the tripod or the tripod head. So that's about where I want it. Now that is perfect. That is a perfect, perfect setup. Um, and as I said, I probably won't go back to using a ball head after using something like this. And 
The funny thing is, I use um, these pen and tilt heads with my professional photography that I do for a living, but they're much bigger. And I was, I was finished with a client one day and I started packing my gear away and I thought, I wonder if there's something out there for, um, for, for me that I could use for my personal photography, so my landscape photography. So I went on the hunt and I found this Leo Photo product and it's absolutely fantastic piece of gear to use. And I don't often do gear reviews, but this thing is just absolutely outstanding. Um, so that's why I use it. It is just um, brilliant. Um, to use everything straight, but it's the balance that I really like, which I just don't think you can get that tight enough balance using a ball head. Um, it's my personal opinion. You might differ from that. That's cool. I understand it. I get it. But until you try one of these setups, you really can't say that the ball head is the best because um, is this the best? Probably not because I'm about to show you the three-way geared head, which is just another level again. But for me, this is um, basically how I shoot from now on. Um, I leave the rail on there and Bob's your uncle. It's just so, so good to use. I mean, everything is level, everything's straight, but it's the balance and the security as well. The security here is fantastic. You won't get any, um, and it doesn't matter how tight you do up the ball head, you're, there's a good chance you could slip or it could droop a bit, you know. Um, but yeah, honestly, I swear by these type of heads for photography. So I'll take this one off and I'll move this one out. Um, so basically, I just love, that's the rail. That's pretty good. I mean, 30 bucks, I mean, and it's got the markings along there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And that way, if I'm using different length lenses, I know where it is on that particular lens. It comes in at around about, um, around about 85, which is nearly halfway in the middle of that. And that sits over the middle of the tripod. So it's all about balance and correct precision, especially when you're trying to nail that composition. And this is why these heads are becoming very, very popular. I'm starting to see more and more people use them. Um, do yourself a favor and buy one because once you use one of these, there's no going back to that over there, the ball head. I can guarantee it, it you probably won't go back to it once you buy one of these. So I'll move that out of the way. And by the way, this is the um, Innerel 80C. This is the smaller or the younger brother or the the smaller brother to the big monster over here, the 90C, 90RC. I haven't done any reviews on this one yet, but I'll tell you now, it's just as good as the big brother, and it's a lot lighter, so I'll be carrying this into um, waterfalls and any long walks that I've got to do, but I'll do a, I'll do a review of this tripod um, in the next couple of weeks. So, But I'll move this one aside, and I'll put... Um, This one here, oh. we line it up. I can do that anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we've got to do come back here, I think. Okay, we might see if we can get it like that. I think you can see that. Okay, so. Same thing again with this. This is um, a brilliant piece of kit. Um, it's just so well made. This is a Benro three-way geared head. Same thing as at the Arcus Quist plate at the top. Um, usually I just mount the camera on here. Um, very, very good for composition. This is probably the best head that I own. Um, and it gives the, the Leo photo um, pan and tilt to run for its money. A little bit different though with this. This is more, there's more um, more angles you can get with this where you've only got two angles, front and back, and then your pan. I can do front and back, side, and pan and tilt with this. So this has more features, but just as good. And once again, I cannot get the precision out of the ball head as I can with this. And the Leo photo pan and tilt. So 
this is just a, another great piece of kit. Um, you know, I can pan this way, camera moves to the right, pan to the left, um, camera I can move left or right, and then I can tilt it forward or back. Um, I tend to use this head when I'm shooting very wide and I'm down low to the ground. As I said, my tripods don't have center columns, so I can spread these legs out right down flat on the ground. And this is where this comes in because I can, I've got a better angle than the actual pen and tilt because it goes further. There's nothing impeding the front of it. Um, but once again, another great piece of kit. Um, I just think these heads rule, really. Um, I can't speak highly enough of them. Once again, this is on a ball mount. Um, I can move it around as you can see. Okay, and I get it right. Um, there is a level. This has got four levels on it, uh, three levels on it, this, this head. So all I do is line it up, up the top. Screw it down like that underneath. And there is, I'm totally level, totally. Um, and this is a good thing about these, these heads and also um, with the bowl mount on top of your tripod. Um, the combination here is virtually unbeatable when it comes to securing the, the, your um, composition um, straight out of the box. You, you can't beat this, this setup. Seriously, you can't. Um, you could get very close to the ball head and I know some really, really good photographers and they've actually said, we've compared images actually, um, images taken with the ball head and images taken with these two, and you can see the difference. We used virtually the same camera, exactly the same settings. It was just the fact that this was more stable. Um, these two heads are more stable than a ball head. And we were shooting um, on a cliff top here in the mountains and it was a bit, bit breezy. So it wasn't that the image was out of focus shot with a ball head. It was the fact that it was moving. Um, and my friend said he tightened that ball head down as tight as he could, almost got a shifter out of his bag and tightened it that tight. It was still movement there, and you don't get that with these heads. You just don't get it. Sure, they cost you a bit of money, but um, it's security. It really is security. So that, this is the Benro three-way geared head. It sells for around about $300, $320. Very, very worth every cent, seriously. And the Leo Photo VH30R, it's around about the same price. Um, made out of different sort of, probably the same material, but this has got a different coating on it. Um, and I, I hammer my equipment. I, I, um, I don't uh, nandy pandy my equipment. It, it gets used. And, but so far, so good. Um, and they work very, very well with a bowl mount um, for the tripod. So think about that when you're updating your tripod and um, thinking about getting away from a ball head. As I said, ball heads are right good. They're good. They're, they're, plenty of people use them and are happy with them. But this is just a, um, a demonstration on, on what I think um, these, these heads are good for and why I use them. And the proof's in the pudding, really. Um, I print a lot of images here in my studio and um, I usually print... Uh, two images every outing, and I, I've noticed a difference. Um, everything's pin sharp where before they were slightly soft because I was shooting on a ball head. Um, but as I said, the ball heads are great to use. Um, plenty of people use them and they're happy with them. But I'm not suggesting you go out and ditch the ball head and throw it away with all the other gear that you don't use under the stairs. But if you're thinking about um, getting a different ball head or updating your tripod, if you're updating a tripod, I suggest you look at either one of these heads. I'll put the link to those two heads in the description uh, or the description of these down below. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's why I use these um, two heads and also the nodal rail. I You can get these in 240s. This is a 20 centimeters, just 200 millimeter. You can get 180s, 140s, 110s. Um, but I like this size because sometimes I shoot with a 24 to 105 or even the 70 to 200. Um, which I know a lot of landscape photographers use, and that is absolutely crucial to um, the fitment on these heads. You can use them 
with an L, L bracket, as you could as you've seen with my camera, but this just makes it a little bit more secure and it just straightens everything and secures secures the um, the camera brilliantly, um, like so. So you can't really you can't really go wrong with um, these uh, these heads. So as you can see, there's the rail there. So and the rail sells for about thirty five dollars, twenty five to thirty five dollars on um, Amazon. Um, you can get different brands, of course, but this has stood the test of time. This one, and I use it. Well, I'm actually using it tomorrow afternoon. I'm going out to Blackheath, which isn't far from here, to a location called Sunset Rock. And funny enough, that's probably one of the best locations for sunset photography here in the beautiful Blue Mountains. So. That's me tomorrow afternoon. Um, so that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, any comments or um, anything you want to know, please put it down below and I'd certainly get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching this. As I said, it was just my thoughts on why I don't use a ball head and why I use the three-way geared head and the Leo Photo pan and tilt head. So until next time, as I always say, be nice to yourself, family and friends, but most of all, you keep shooting and keep smiling and bye for now.